Okay, so there's not too many things that really get me super excited in this world, but when you see a P-51 Mustang fly over, you just about crawl out of your skin to, 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 to see it. I mean, you want to glue your eyeballs open so that you don't blink so you can watch it the whole entire time it streaks across the sky. So about 20, 30 minutes ago, I heard what just chills the bones when you hear it because you don't hear it that often. And I'm almost welling up with excitement because they're so rare to see. But a North American P-51 D Mustang flew over. And I heard it and I said to Dad, I said, well, you hear that? We were in the front yard. He's like, yeah, kind of sounds like a turboprop. I said, no, 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 that sounds like a V-12. And, uh, you know, so I'm hearing it. I'm like, wow. And then it disappears like, shit, I really would have wished I was able to, to see this plane. And then it just comes out of nowhere. Shoots straight across right over my mom and dad's house. Like, literally right over the house. And I was like, I wanted to hold my eyeballs open in the, in the literally three or four seconds that I was able to see this airplane. And I thought, you know what? There's one guy I know that, that has a lot to do with P-51 Mustangs, and that's Lord Muck, or Podge Muck on Instagram, or Messenger, but Lord Muck, okay? So Lord Muck is a, an Englishman, and he comes over to the United States, and he flies around in B-25s, B-17s, P-51s. Uh, I think he knows where there's a P-38 Lightning, which is another wet dream of mine. I'd love to see that. So I messaged him, like, hey, you're not in the United States, are you? He's like, no, 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 I'm at work. I'm at home, you know, and he's showing me pictures of stacks of hay, and I told him that this thing was over there. He knows who flew over. So, I'm hoping, uh, beyond God, I'm hoping that he can get a hold of this guy that is actually flying this thing around my area. He said he was in the Northeast Philadelphia Airport, which is literally 25 minutes, 30 minutes drive from me. If I put the pedal to the metal and there's no traffic, I could be there in 25, 30 minutes. It's nothing. Um, but... I'm hoping beyond hope that he can get a hold of this guy and he can do a low level flyover because I would just shit my pants. You have no idea the excitement I, I feel when I see these things. Um, I just love the Warbirds. Just love them. We have a uh, F6F Hellcat that's, ha that's stationed or housed up here at Alexander Field in Alexander Township, Pittstown, New Jersey. Uh, and it's just, to me, you know, I can't even get close enough to it. I need a mile of shit just to, to get close to these airplanes when they fly over. And I don't have the time to go to these, these air shows or whatnot. But, boy, if I could just see this thing rip across the sky right now, I would, I would have a way. Uh, I don't know. Right, Tim? Are you, what are you doing? I'm just talking to myself. I am talking about that airplane. You die. You don't have any idea how exciting that is. I mean, I was in a, I was in the Air and Nautical Mu Nautical Air Museum in Tokyo, Japan, outside of uh, what the hell's Narita Airport. There's a real nice. You can walk there from the airport. It's nothing. And I walk around the corner, just about to leave, and in a glass case is an actual Rolls Royce Merlin engine. In a glass case, it was presented to the Japanese people back in like 1974 or some shit like that. I'm like, God, I'm surprised they would even accept such a kingly gift, but you know, if they ever want to throw it away, I'd be more than happy to take it off their hands. Because mm -hmm. what a beautiful work of art. I mean, if you don't know the, what it took to make that engine and what it took to actually, this was actually a Rolls Royce. It wasn't a, it wasn't a Packard built, it was a Rolls Royce. And what a beautifully crafted engine. I just, I could take it apart, put it all back together again, and uh, I'm not probably not qualified to do it, but I would do it just to, to see the inner workings. It was just a beautiful plane engine, you know, the, that engine was unbelievable. But anyway, I'm just going to patiently wait and watch the sky and see what happens. It'd be cool as hell, but you never know.